Welcome back guys to the alpha. So today I'm going to be doing the unholy DK changes and reworks for the alpha and hopefully BFA. Um, yeah, to round it all up before we start, it's unholy DK is really, I think, one of the funnest DPS melees to play. Just because your DPS is just so, it's just so explosive to put it like correctly with your exploding uh, festering wounds and stuff like that. But it's really, really fun. It's kind of the same in Legion that you're going to have your epidemic and you're going to be spreading it. You're going to make sure that everything's got festering wounds and you're going to be bursting up the uh, festering festering wounds. Um, so for your first talent choices, they're all a bit up in the air at the moment. Ebb and Fever, Virgin Plague deals 20% more damage over time and half a duration. I think that's going to get nerfed, so I didn't use that. But Bursting Spores is really good for the AoE. But now, just for single target, I think Raise the Dead is just the best because you get an extra... An extra pet, which is always good. Um, now for your next one, you want to take Pestilent pus Pustules. I think the funnest way to play at single target is to um, is to just burst the wounds you get. And obviously, when you burst a wound, getting getting um, getting one rune every eight wounds is really good. Um, so for your next one, I was thinking of taking when a festering boom burst, you gain forty percent attack speed, but that doesn't give you too much DPS to start with. You've got to get your you got to get your wounds first before that becomes quite good. But obviously each festering strike cr critical strike applies two additional festering wounds which will of course will explode and then give us towards that rune that per persistent pustules. Chlorine strike I've seen it might be good but I just like I like my my festering wounds bursting with my pets and stuff like that which I'll get into soon. Um the next one's just down to you, but I like taking the Sludge Belcher because it has a stun and it will use its own stun, whereas I have to remember to use Asphyxiate. For your next one, it's down to you, but I always take Lingering Aspiration. Apparition, sorry. Because, obviously, m moving with Wraith Walk's always good. Moving faster and it's got a reduced cooldown. Anti-Magic, Shell Ask, 20% longer. It's just not good. You want that increased speed to get out of stuff. So, for your next one, this will be down to you. So it's more about the reason I take Shadow Infusion over Necrosis is your next Scourge Strike will deal 40% increased damage, but you won't be using Scourge Strike a lot when you've got loads of Festering Wounds up. And the quicker you get Dark Transformation up, it's just you do way, way more DPS. Because your Dark Transformation has even more spells, so it can put down, it can burst your Festering Wounds, which will of course go towards that Pestulant Pustules. But yeah, inflected claws. It's got 35% chance, but obviously we're gonna get we're gonna get dark transformation up sooner, which is gonna increase our burst DPS. Uh, for the last one, they're mostly all they're not really that all good. Like I think Soul Reaper might be good, but since you're only getting 21% haste from it, it may it's just better to go dark arbiter and just using that on pull and just dumping so much runic power in that that just gets so empowered so you always want to be using that on pull and if you're mid pull and it's come back up make sure you tie it down with maybe a even a dark transformation because it's got a one minute and we're going to keep reducing that like every few death coils but yeah so let's go so you want to start off by army of the dead of course but this won't be up for a lot of pulls so you're just going to make sure make sure you have your pets out as well do army of the dead transform your pet and do dark arbiter and then just start off with your festering strike so you can get wounds up oh we got a critical um death coil but yeah your your festering strike is going to give you the pustules to burst and your scourge strike is going to burst them so you just want to be getting loads and loads of loads of wounds down on the target and then just exploding them and just keep hitting the target and just exploding them pustules and of course, like obviously when we burst a lot, we're gonna get we're gonna get the uh, runes coming back, which then we can just get back with another festering strike, which is obviously really good. And now I've already got my transformation back up because I use death curl so much, so it's really really good and it's gonna keep coming off cooldown. Just give it virulent plague, just infest him. Just make sure you're infesting your target with all the age you have. You're just a you're just a disease man. You're just putting your stacks up and just popping them over and over. Just popping them plagues. 
and doing so much damage. But usually a um a pack or one add in a dungeon will have 80k DPS, but I'm doing so much DPS at the moment. And I've already got Dark Transformation back off cooldown, which is just super good. Now I can do another outbreak and just make sure it's just the guy's staying infected and I'm just bursting them pustules. And just keep going. Just keep smashing. But that is it for the single target. AoE works kind of the same, but when you burst one of your plagues, it's going to do so much damage to everyone. Unholy really shines in AoE because obviously everything's going to be infected. Everything's just going to be ticking and ticking and ticking. But I'll do the talents now. So, for your first talent, you want to take um, Virgin Plague because you're going to get this on every single one. And Virgin Plague spreads to ev all nearby enemies. So you literally just want to use Outbreak all the time and take Ebon Fever. Still in combat because I'm a stupid pet. I'll just summon him again. So, Ebon Fever. Then next one, Epidemic. Causes each of your Virgilent Plagues within 100 yards to flare up. Which is, of course, is what we want. We just want to be spread in the AIDS over and over. So, just Outbreak and then start doing Epidemic. So it just spreads the AIDS everywhere. Uh, you want to be taking your Unholy Frenzy. You're going to have so many wounds popping all over the place. You'll get so much attack speed. And... Um, the next one's up to you again. I always like Sludge Belcher because he looks cool and... I don't have to use my Asphyxiate. Um, next one's up to you again. Just Lingering Apparition for that quick speed. So if you look at that, how quick you are. You're getting out of everything. The next one you want to take is... You want to take your Infected Claws. It just gives a chance to uh, burst. Burst more wounds, deal more damage to people just everywhere. Your wounds are going to explode and deal damage to everyone. So you want the wounds to pop even quicker. Um... The next one you want to take is Defile, because you're going to get so much mastery and stuff in there. You just want to keep that down all the time, and all the enemies are going to stand in there, which is obviously good for you. But to start off with, you want to do the same again, but you want to use your Dark Transformation and Pull. Start with Outbreak, then use your Gargoyle, and get up some wounds first before you start popping. Put down your, um, your Defile, and then just start spreading your plagues around. Just start spreading, spreading the plagues to everyone. Just make sure you got got wounds on all targets and just smash into them. Just make sure wounds are on all targets and then just spread the aids. Just keep it Virgilent Plague and then just use Epidemic so it spreads to loads. So just make sure all of them are infected. Infect that guy. So you're just infecting all of them and then using your Epidemic so they'll both be exploding. So make sure you have Outbreak on all the targets you're hitting. And then... Just using Epidemic on CD with Death Call. Just make sure everything has Virgin Plagues. It's all just popping and exploding. Maybe set your pet on one target so that's it has a chance to pop on that one target. So say if I leave my pet on that target there and I just hit this one, we're both going to be exploding spores because he has a 35% chance every auto attack to be... Um, to burst a plague, and I can use it on this one. But make sure I have Outbreak up on all targets. And now Defile's back up cooldown, and it gives me a chance to get more mastery and just spread my aids everywhere. But just make sure Outbreak's still kept up on the target. Scourge Strike, Death Coil, Epidemic, just over and over, just darting up the world. But yeah, Unholy DK shines loads in, in uh, AoE. Single target, not as much, because, you know, without Army of the Dead, you aren't doing that much burst DPS, but... Yeah, it holds its, it holds its own, but it just completely trumps all melee in AoE. But yeah, like, subscribe, and there'll be more guides out soon. Later.